Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, and today we're going to be talking about the Bose SoundSport wireless earpods, and here they are. So this will not be a full review, but rather it's going to be my first impressions after having one full week of use with these earpods. So let's get to it. I'm going to do sort of a little unboxing of sorts because in my original unboxing, <laughs> um, I, I used a super wide angle lens and I was in the kitchen cooking. Anyhow, so this is what we're doing today. So this is what the package looks like, correct? Our packaging. And I'm hoping the whole thing shows up here. Let's get this straight. There we go. So this is what comes in the package. So that's just a case. Here's the documentation, which is, you know, who cares? And then you get extra ear um, fins so that you can uh, find the ones that fit with your ears. And you get this little case. So I'm gonna put all this back in here because we, it's not that exciting. We don't really care. So, okay, so what's included, of course, is the case, which is also a battery, and it's used to charge the ear pods. You get the two ear pods and you get extra tips or I call them fins because they help keep them in your ears. So it comes with a micro USB cable and a USB on the other side so that you could charge them. What it doesn't come with is the actual plug that goes into the wall. So just keep that in mind. Now the Bose ear pods, as I'm calling them, I know they're not real ear pods, they're wireless headphones, okay? But the Bose ear pods, again, as I'm calling them, come in two different colors. I chose the black ones. They have some that look like carbon fiber blue up here instead of this black, and then a yellow on the inside. I chose with the black because they are more discreet. These wireless earpods are going to set you back $249 US. They are a little bit spendy. One question that came up during my initial unboxing is, do these Bose earpods support Bluetooth 5.0? And they do not. These use Bluetooth 4.1. The range between these earpods and your device Bo says it's supported up to 30 feet, which is roughly nine meters. I'm gonna tell you that if you are in a Wi-Fi heavy environment, or if you have multiple walls, as in more than one room, or the combination of the two, your range is going to be a lot shorter than what they are advertising the maximum to be. If you have line of sight, then I think you can absolutely get away with about 30 feet or nine meters. So the way that I use them is I connected them to my Apple Watch, which basically means that I don't have that extra distance uh, to deal with. So I have yet to experience where I dropped the signal for whatever reason. So another question that came up is how well do the ear pods or these Bose ear pods stay in my ears? And for me, they stay in my ears really well. I did not have to change the actual earpiece and this, you know, fin size. So they stay in my ear just fine. I could jump on the treadmill and either jog or sprint, and I don't have any issues. Obviously, if you're doing something a lot more casual, like walking or sitting or whatever you might be doing, like studying, listening to music or something, these um, do a really nice job. The sound quality is excellent. They do not fatigue my ears and they are very, very comfortable. Now, one thing I wanna say, even though these actually do sort of seal your ear, they don't cancel out noise. So these are not noise canceling, right? So if um, let's say someone was across the room and wanted to talk to me, I could hear that they were talking to me, but I did have to pause the, the music so that I could actually have a conversation with them. And at that point, it wasn't really a big deal. If the music was going on, I could not make out what it is that they were saying. And as far as volume goes, 
For me, I've yet to turn it up past the first third of the volume capacity on these earpods. So the volume, it seems to work just fine. Now, if you're jumping on a train or jumping on an airplane, how well will these perform? And the answer to that is, I don't know yet. I do have a trip that's coming up, so I'll be sure to uh, bring them with, and I'll put them in, and when I'm on the plane, I'll be sure to come back and let everybody know what it is that I think and how it is that I feel that they performed in that environment. So on a full charge, these ear pods will give you up to five hours of play. So you could be listening to music for five hours, which is the primary way that I use them. I've only charged them once this week, and I've been able to essentially use them the entire week going on multiple workouts and listening casually to music, you know, whether it be while I was working or something else, without having to recharge the entire system. That's because this case will actually hold an additional two full charges. So if you're a heavy user, potentially, you might have to charge this, you know, maybe once every three or four days. And I feel that that's really acceptable for battery life. To get a full charge from completely depleted to fully charged, the ear pods can do that in an hour and a half of being plugged in. And the case itself takes two hours to fully charge. Now, if you need a quick charge, they do support it. 15 minutes of charge time will give you an additional 45 minutes of airplay. That's pretty cool and it could come in really handy if you're say about to jump on a plane or a bus or a train or something, you know, getting ready to go on your commute. So I mentioned that there are two different um, sets of controls, right? The one on the left ear is just a single button and the buttons are not like easily pressed. You need to really like, you know, pinch in there to get them um, pressed. The left one is for Bluetooth and the right side has a volume up, a volume down, and a multi-function button. And that's how you would, you know, pause or play your music or skip a song, or you would take a call or you would end a call. Since we're on that topic, if you are going to take a call, right? So like the Apple Watch Series 3 is it's available in cellular. So I did take a call with these this week and the sound only comes out of the right ear. So it doesn't bother me, um, but it's different than say the Bose Quiet Comfort, where if you're on a phone call, you can hear them in both sides. The other thing, since we're on that topic, for music, it's not an issue, but if say you wanted to use these ear pods to watch YouTube videos or Netflix on your device or your computer, and that's how you were using them, there will be a delay if you're using both ear pods, which if you're watching something like a video, you'd want that stereo imaging, right? If you're watching a movie, you'd want that stereo imaging. And the delay is enough to where you won't want to use them to do that or to consume media that way. If you put the left ear, ear pod right back in the case, basically it disconnects it and then the delay goes away. But then you'll again only have it on one ear. So is it practical? Not really. Is it cool? No. And for me, frankly, regardless of the make or model of Bluetooth um, wireless headsets or ear pods or whatever, I could never use them when I'm actually working on my computer and say I'm doing some video editing, for example, I couldn't use them. The delay is incredibly distracting and it makes for a very unproductive and horrible editing session. As far as how to connect the wireless ear pods, it's super easy. Once you download the Bose Connect app, basically you turn on the app and as soon as you pull the ear pods right out of the case, they go right into pairing mode. And the app itself will recognize them and walk you through the rest of that process. So it's incredibly easy. So there you have it guys, the Bose SoundSport free wireless headphones, which I am calling wireless earbuds, 
and what my first impressions are. Hopefully some of this information was useful to you. Um, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I will be sure to catch you guys very soon. Until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q, helping you guys compete in today's web economy. Thanks for watching, have a good weekend, and take care.